Friendships and rivalries are the intricate threads that weave the fabric of our social tapestry, shaping the very essence of human connection and competition. In the symphony of life, these dynamic relationships play a pivotal role in influencing our growth, resilience, and self-discovery. Friendships characterized by trust, support, and shared experiences act as a sanctuary where laughter resonates and burdens are lightened. This character personifies this better than any of other character from the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise, everyone's favorite Brooklyn accent to duelist, enter Joey Wheeler. Joey Wheeler, known as Katsuya Jonochi in the original Japanese version, is one of Yugi's best friends and a vital character in the series. Joey's known for his New York accent, macho demeanor, and loyalty to his friends. He starts as a street smart and somewhat hot tempered character, but evolves throughout the series, becoming a skilled competitor and honorable duelist. He participates in various duels and tournaments, showcasing his growth as a duelist and his commitment to self improvement. He battled with pros from the Duelist Kingdom such as Rex Raptor, Keith Bandit, and Mai Valentine, made it to the semifinals where he played against his best friend Yugi, became a semifinalist in Battle City after surviving the threats of the Big Five and Noah, and held the power of the Claw of Hermos during the rise of the Seal of Orichalcos. His unbreakable will, determination, and reason to fight made Joey one of the strongest duelists in the Duel Monster series. Over the years, Joey has become a fan favorite for his friendship with Yugi and the rest of the main cast, including his bitter rivalry slash weird friendship with Kaiba. A protected big brother, a powerful duelist, and the ride or die friend we all wanted to have, Joey Wheeler is the heart of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monster series. And in today's video, I'll discuss his themes, deck, and play style to determine what he would play in Card Fight Vanguard. At the beginning of the series, Joey Wheeler started as a novice to the game and fell victim to many amateur mistakes players make, such as horrible deck building and a lack of understanding of the game's core mechanics. Joey had a lot of work to do before he faced Yugi as an equal and Kaiba as a rival. With more experience and knowledge of the game over time, we see Joey experiment with a variety of new cards and strategies to improve his dueling ability. However, despite all of this change, Joey's deck never follows a direct theme. His main deck monsters, spells, and traps have different effects that uniquely work together. The monsters Joey uses don't fit any particular theme either, such as the land stars, beast warriors, other monsters that don't have effects that synergize and aren't a part of any archetypes visible in the series. And despite not following a theme or core strategy, Joey's quick wit, incredible RNG factor, and powerful cards have assisted him in his duels. Time Wizard, Jinzo, and Guilford the Lightning are the strongest monsters in his arsenal, but his signature monster is his Red Eyes Black Dragon and Flame Swordsman. With all these powerful monsters at Joey's disposal and his luck and logic based strategy, Joey can use a series of cards and effects to get him out of any situation. It's clear to see that Joey Wheeler's deck is a clear reflection of his personality. A young man with grit and persistence who will overcome anything in front of him. Based on Joey's deck in the Duel Monster series, he'll need a clan that rewards the player for being aggressive and risky. I couldn't see Joey Wheeler playing any other clan than the Nova Grapplers. Nova Grapplers are a clan in the Brant Gate nation specializing in card effects to stand your units and acquire effects based on when they stand and how many stood. This clan also hosts a variety of aliens, boxing robots, and Vanguard's favorite Gundams, all in the same clan. With these unique abilities, Joey would have numerous effects to catch his opponent off guard and stay in the game. Now I will finally showcase to you Joey's avatar and it's none other than Fighting Fist Dragon, God Hand Dragon. God Hand Dragon is a Nova Grappler Grade 3 Dragon unit whose playstyle focuses on amplifying front triggers revealed during the drive check to increase your unit's power levels to insane numbers. This effect combined with your other Nova Grappler units gives you a vanguard that can perform multiple attacks with high power based on the luck of the triple drive. God Hand Dragon is a generic based vanguard that's not locked into any direct support 
allowing the player to use a variety of cards in tangent with him to maximize his ability. The warrior units in Joey's deck like Panther Warrior, Little Wing Guard, and Rocket Warrior have counterparts in Vanguard already, making the transition just a little bit easier for him. God Hand Dragon's go all out strategy combined with Nova Grappler's resource management and Joey's wit and grit will allow him to stand out from his peers as he and God Hand Dragon will push his opponents to their very limit. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Joey Wheeler's deck for the Cardfight Vanguard series. Now as I state with all of my deck profiles for these what if characters, these are not meant to be competitive, the card choices and decisions were made to reflect the characters on what I believe they would play if they were in the Cardfight Vanguard series. Now as I stated earlier, God Hand Dragon is the main unit of this deck, with its front ability relying on good luck as well as putting front triggers, you'll be able to amass insane amounts of power to help give your deck additional multi-attack. The mixtures of Beast Warrior units such as the Six Arm card as well as the Starter give us multiple units that reflect that aspect of Joey in his original deck build as well as the Savannah Wild being a pure you know replacement for the Panther Warrior that he plays in the Yu-Gi-Oh series. We have Arashid as our Wing Guard clone as well as Claydol Mechanic as one of our other odd units. We also have cards like the Grade 1 to replicate our Battle Warrior in case Joey ever played that like he did earlier in the show, as well as a couple of other odd looking units that fit Joey's sort of theme of playing these uncanny cards in his deck. I believe that this variation of Nova Grappler is worth relying on good luck, front triggers, as well as all these random effects that actually would come in very handy for Joey. I think that Joey would enjoy playing a deck like this, especially in the V Premium format thanks to XL2 and XL1 and giving him the option of choosing to go for resource or power. Knowing his playstyle, it gives him a wild card style of play that's going to make it very hard for any opponent he faces to keep up with. Joey Wheeler is without a doubt one of my favorite characters personally in the Yu-Gi-Oh series and having gone back to watch the series, I can honestly say that I enjoy this character so much more as an adult than I did younger. His passion for the game, his improvement in the game, as well as watching his interaction with all the other characters made him so much more enjoyable to see in this version of the series and watch him in other forms of media. Joey Wheeler will forever go down as one of the legendary characters in the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise for years to come. But as for today, thank you so much for staying tuned up the entirety of this episode of What If. I am your host, Prime Vanguard, and I will see you later. Peace.